Hi guys, this is the ADSK Dopper here. So, uh, it's been a long time since I have made a video and uh, I think it's time for me to make a video about uh, softwares and hardwares uh, since I have been into gaming all, all this time. So, I, I, I think that it's the right time for a change. And uh, the, this, this, is, the, this was not discovered, the thing which I am about to show you was not discovered for, the, for my YouTube channel. It was, you know, I was just searching for a software and uh, stuff like that. So, I accidentally bumped into that and I started using it and it's really, I felt really good. So, that's the reason why I am sharing it with, with you guys. So if you're watching this channel for the first time, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and make sure that you enable the bell icon as well so that all the videos that I make will reach you as a notification. So let's get started guys. So the situation was like this, um, you know, I had a bunch of mp3 uh, files with me which is stored in my personal PC and I have been working, uh, I, I have been working from home for a long time as you all know that due to the COVID-19 situations. So, uh, when I, you know, if I want to listen to a music, I need to switch on my uh, system, uh, a music system or my personal computer and by that time the music plays, all of a sudden I get a meeting call on my laptop and uh, I need to switch off that uh, system and then I need to plug in my uh, headset to the laptop and then uh, start, start getting into the meeting uh, and uh, when the meeting is over and uh, if I am trying to listen to a music on my mobile again I need to remove the headset and plug it over here and then uh, I start listen, listening to a music and all of a sudden again I am getting a call from my laptop I need to remove this thing a headset and then plug it back into the laptop so uh, this was the situation guys and it was really annoying and uh, I was unable to you know um, uh, listen to music or watch some uh, uh some videos on my mobile or my pc due to the heavy workload and if i am using two headset it will be like this you know it will be a real mess see see the amount of wire we, which we are using so uh i had this raspberry pi lying around uh as you guys know that uh this is the raspberry pi that i am having so i have set up the software inside this and uh, it's like a mini server right now and um, you can also uh, i think that it will this video will be most helpful for all the guys who are working from home and wanted a bit of relaxation by listening to music or watching their personal uh, pictures or videos so uh, this stuff is more about uh, with uh, more with this stuff will be more helpful to them i guess so uh, other 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 others can also try out this and uh, check out this uh, if you have any time so but uh, i think that it will be more helpful for those who are working from home so uh, uh, i have set up a couple of softwares in this uh, raspberry pi and i'll show you how it's done and uh, let's get started so right now guys we have uh, switched back to my pc so uh, this uh, is being recorded on my personal computer right now and uh, the software which i was talking about is known as codebox and there are a couple of software actually one more uh, uh, software is all, all also there uh, by the same developer itself it's known as code explorer so both of them are available on the github i will provide the link on the description below so the first thing we are going to see is code box and uh, the second thing is code explorer i mean code explorer is a light lighter version of code box but uh, we will be basically sticking on code box uh, and uh, how it's performing on our raspberry pi 3b plus okay so uh, i'll just show you how how the thing works so let me log on So this is the UI that you get uh, when you log on. Uh, actually, it's, uh, you can see something uh, written in Chinese, which is not a big, a big deal. You can delete this folder. So, yep. So uh, it's like 
yeah it's pretty much like a, a windows explorer within a web browser or a desktop within a you can call it as a desktop within a web voice kind of thing so uh, this, this is the desktop that we have over here we have a couple of apps uh, you can just directly click on here and empty the recycle bin the similar way uh, uh, which we do in windows you can see in the wallpaper by clicking into over here yep which change clicking it again will uh, change the wallpaper once again so ba back to what i'm talking about so uh, the entire thing is being run on our uh, raspberry pi 3b plus so uh, i'll show you what all the things that i have over here so the main advantage of this uh, web application is that we can um, access the entire server i mean os uh, files from here so this is this is the os file most of most of the access we won't be able to i mean most of the things we won't be able to edit because we don't have a root access right now uh, so I, i'm not gonna do all this all those stuff uh, stuff i'm only gonna show you what is required okay what i am using it for so uh, i have a couple of sample uh, video files and image files stored on the home folder so uh, i have got a bunch of uh, mp3 files stored in my uh, local desktop and what i did was that i have a couple of uh, uh, pen drives lying around so i copied them over to the pen drive and stick it uh, them to our raspberry pi so um in that way uh, if i ha if i am uh, on my home network i can access my code box uh using any device mobile or laptop or another desktop uh, so anywhere i can access this and i can play the files from within the browser so that's the main advantage of this uh, so if i double click on here the player pops up and it plays i hope you get my point uh, what i'm trying to show you over here so your personal mp3 files can be stored on a separate device and uh, just that it should be connected to on the same network and you you can access it uh, anywhere from from another device without any uh, you know without any additional softwares or anything like that uh, we, we can also stream using vlc player but in some cases we won't, we won't be able to install additional softwares on our uh say working laptop or working desktop due to security reasons so in that case if you want to listen to your personal files uh you can you can use this is one this is one of the complicated ways of uh, playing your personal files in the simplest way will be like you know copying the files of your phone and then uh playing that from phone but uh, the problem is that your phone uh, should already be full with all your photos pics and other application so in that case you know when you are running out of storage space i think uh, something like this will help you a lot and uh, it actually cup, uh, supports couple of uh, video formats uh, so the raspberry pi is not that much powerful so you have to wait a little bit to in order the video to uh, be played so i can show you off here over here this is a uh, video one of our video recordings of a gameplay uh, so i can I'll just show you over here right now the player came and we have to wait a couple of seconds sometimes it's a couple of minutes so we are right now playing uh, from our raspberry pi so everything is done on the server side you can toggle full screen you can clearly see our old logo over here watermark logo over here let's continue minimize the thing uh you you can't see that far uh due to the fact that you know um it might lag uh, it might create a load on the server so i can uh, show you uh, the amount of resource that is being used during our playback uh, i'm going to open the code box on a separate uh, window and then you have
yeah so this is the load that is being used 3% uh, you can clearly see that this is only 1 GB RAM and uh, this is the total space in the server because I have put a 32 GB SD card on my Raspberry Pi Extremely sorry guys, I was getting a call over there. Yeah, so apart from video files, uh, we can uh, view pictures and edit some of the text files. I don't have any text file with me right now. So I'm gonna uh, stick on to, you know, some picture files. Yep, uh, I think there was some problem in double clicking. <laughs> okay, so th this is one of the, you know, uh, one of our game wallpapers. All the Hunter Call of the Wild, you can check out the gameplay on my channel. So, it's really cool game. This is none of <laughs> another cool game from the picture itself. You can see that it's a just cause full of chaos and destruction. And this one is also another cool game, Shadow Warrior. Yeah, so all these gameplays are available on my channel. So please make sure that you check out my channel as well. And if you are watching this uh, till now without uh, hitting the subscribe button, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well right now itself. So let me show you from where I got this. Uh, so it's available in the uh, GitHub. So this is the uh, link uh, I, I can provide you in the description of the video. So uh, how the next question is that how are we gonna run uh, this on without our with our available items at home so uh, the first thing is that if you have any old pc that is lying around you can use that uh, or you can use your current personal pc or gaming pc whatever you have uh, you can use that uh, so but i pr prefer uh, something which doesn't consume that much power for example if you have an unused raspberry pi lying around you can use that i that's what i'm using right now because it doesn't consume that much power and uh, i have got a couple of uh, old sd cards lying around so that's how i used it and uh, what what are the other software requirements that uh, you can you need to run this web application so from a technical for a technical guy it's pretty straightforward you require a server uh, supporting php version 5 and then uh, you should have an sql server running around it's okay if you oh, doesn't have an sql server you can use sql lite as well so uh, upon going on to this link you can you could see a couple of screenshots available uh, right now so you, you could scroll around and check out uh you can see someone is coding over here you have a demo page of of this thing so uh the only thing that you require uh, is that um you should have a php5 supported server and uh, you require a sql server or sql lite so we, we have a couple of oh yeah this is the software recommend it, it can be run on windows linux linux and mac so uh, what i'm using is that i'm running on uh, linux uh, basically debian and uh, i am running the server that i am using is uh, light httpd and it's linked with uh, php uh, 7.3 and I'm using uh, SQLite. Uh, why I'm sticking on to SQLite is that I don't have that much uh, processing capability on my Raspberry Pi, as you guys know. So I'm sticking on to SQLite. And um, uh, PHP 7.3 uh, was the version when I uh, searched for a tutorial uh, of linking the Lite, HTPD, and PHP. So uh you can use uh, in simple words you can use lamp server apache server uh, if you are using a windows machine and 
uh, it's pretty much straightforward setup i am not going going to go through any of the setup because uh, it might vary for you so when it comes to windows the simple server that you can set up is lamp server and uh, i think lamp is already supporting php so you can put a uh, you can download uh, the code uh, web application you from over here it has a zip file and unzip it into your server folder and uh, it will take you to uh, upon accessing this project uh, from the server it will take you to the next initial setup of the web application so it's pretty straightforward from that and uh, coming to the other application which is the code uh, uh, code explorer everything is pretty sim the initial requirement is pretty simple you should have a php 5.3 you should have an sql uh, irrespective of sql or I, uh, mysql server or sql uh, lite so uh, this application is kind of a lightweight version of this code box okay so in code box you get uh, things like this you could see the resource usage of our raspberry pi in code explorer uh, it's not available okay so uh, that's pretty much it i think uh, you got the idea what i am trying to convey uh, it to you so if you have a bunch of uh, mp3 mp3 files uh, your personal collection you can uh, transfer it to the code box and then uh, you can listen it anywhere uh, with any any device irrespective of android mac windows linux if you have a uh, web browser and you are on the same network as your server is running you can just hit the url and then you know voila <laughs> that's it guys so uh, that's it for today uh, that's it for this video i hope you enjoy the video if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video give me a thumbs down if you have got any other better way of uh doing stuff so please make sure that to comment on the comment section so that i can <coughs> uh check out how check out that software itself so i hope you like enjoy the video this is the iris kid signing off we'll catch you on another video or a game stream till then bye bye take care